Hey everybody! Do you hear that sound? Do you hear that sound? What right over here? <laughs> There's my pattern. I found some pointy leaves because you know my sister Judy said I need pointy for my pointy pumpkins. And so I've got the pointy leaves and a little acorn. And I'm using a variegated fall colored thread. And I don't want to turn it off because I'm afraid I'll make it nervous or something and it won't keep sewing. <laughs> see, I don't see how much you can see with this noise and this movement. And I started up here at the very top. I've never had one do this before. So it does the very, very top first. Then it comes down and then it comes across. <laughs> so I've got, I don't know, another 20 minutes maybe until it finishes the first row. And then I'll turn it off and so you won't hear the noise anymore. And then I'll bring the camera over and do a close up. So you can see. <laughs> Stay with me. just finished and you watched it on super fast forward do you love the thread oh my goodness I love the thread it's just perfect in my opinion I love the acorn I love the leaves I love the veins because it matches the leaf I put in this quilt so how about that so that's row one I have four more rows. So let's hope I can figure this software out enough to get the rest of this quilt done. <laughs> I'll be back, my friends. I came out here where it's a little bit quieter. Hopefully you can't hear the roar in there from that long arm. Uh, in case any of you want to know which long arm I have, I have a 2016 APQS Millennium. And I have the Quilt Path software with the latest upgrade. So far, it hasn't confused me too much. <laughs> I've been able to figure it out, but I'm not doing a border. So the next one will be the Kitty Quilt will go on, and I will do borders on it. But I can always call my friend Jeffy if I get too confused, and I can just cry, and he'll feel sorry for me, <laughs> and he'll help me. <laughs> so here's the deal. Jerry came up a while ago. And he said, how'd you like to go to Oklahoma City? And I said, oh my gosh, I need to go there. I need to see my dentist and I need to see my eye doctor. You know, my yearly thing. Um, last time I went to see my dentist, my dentist was there and my appointment was with him. But they made me see this other guy. And they said, doctor number one is retiring and so you get to see this doctor dentist number two. So I wasn't real happy about that because I had left a really, really bad dentist to go to this guy and he had rescued me and um, I really didn't want to see a new dentist, but evidently they work together and he's there under his direction. So I thought, well, okay, fine. So my new dentist, his name is Busby. <laughs> you can't forget it. Think of a bumblebee, <laughs> Dr. Busby. But when I was there, he told me I've been grinding my teeth, and so he made me this thing, $700 thing, to where I'm sure you all know that know about it, been there, done that, or at least they've tried to sell you one, and went ahead and paid for it. I think I wore it twice, and both times I woke up the next morning, my jaw hurt so bad, it took it a week to quit hurting, so that's what I've got to go there with, is my little plastic $700 
thing and say, here, this hurts, what do I do? So that's my dentist appointment. And then the next thing is my eyes. Nothing wrong with my eyes at all, but I wanted to go see the doctor who removed the cataracts and put the lenses in. I had that done three, four years ago, and I've never been back to them. And so my sister had the same surgery and my brother had the same surgery. As far as I know, my brother's never been back. But my sister told me the other day she's been back three times and had to have scar tissue removed or something. So I thought, well, since I'm going to be up there, I'll go see that guy. It's actually the same, same thing. The doctor that did me retired and now there's a different one and the different one is too busy so he can't see me so now there's a different one and she's a lady. And I love lady doctors so <laughs> I'm going to go see the lady doctor. And I just want her to look in there and say everything's perfect and then I'll be happy for the next 20 years. So that's the doctor, the eye doctor and the dentist and then Jerry has to see the CPA because you know we sold our buildings and we sold our buildings last year. And so that's creating all kinds of issues, different issues for us. You know, like mainly we owe a lot of money to the government. <laughs> that's not that new, Joy. <laughs> so the CPA wants to see Jerry and have a meeting with him or something. And Jerry said, you need to come with me. And I said, no, 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 no. That's where I draw the line. I am not good with knowing stressful details of things in our life. <laughs> I would much rather Jerry just take care of that himself and I just play like everything's fine and we don't have to worry about that and all I have to do is make quilts and make blouses and pray that um, our kids love us again someday. <laughs> so that's where I am going to Oklahoma City. Now you know I have two friends up there. I have a friend named Mary. Hi Mary. And I have a friend named Margaret. Hi, Margaret. They, probably neither one of them even watches me anymore. Neither one of them sews. But Mary quilts. And she sews. She used to make Vogue patterns. So I'd love to see them. Um, but I'm not even going to call them until I get there. Because it could change. You know, he could change his mind and say we aren't going. Or you just never know. But the plan is we're going to go do early voting on Wednesday. And then Wednesday afternoon we're going to go up there in our coach. And then we'll be there for the next week at least. And so I'll get to see my granddaughter, Lindy. And uh, she just had a trip to England, so I can't wait to see her and talk to her. So I'll get to see her at least. I don't know if any other family members... My brother! My baby brother, James, might want to come see me. We'll see. We'll see. I'll keep you posted on that. Well, it really doesn't matter. But <laughs> oh, here's the part that matters. Anybody that watches me for quilting or sewing... I'm going to finish quilting the top of that quilt. Then I'm going to take the fabric that I'm going to do the binding with. And yes, the light green, like you all agree. And I'm going to cut it up and splice it and, um, you know, spray it with the uh, spray starch and fold it in half and press it and make the great big, great big long snake. And then I'm going to sew it onto the front and I'm going to get it ready to sew to the back and I'm going to hand sew it. So that will give me a project to do in the RV. And then I've got my sewing machine in there already. And so I'm going to take the, um, remember the boat I started to make with the big, the boat. Remember the quilt I started to make with the big boat on the ocean? <laughs> I'm going to take it with me and uh, work on it while I'm there. Because I'm sure there'll be a lot of, you know, sitting time when we don't have anything to do. And um, I ordered some new books. I ordered some books from our, our used-to-be pastor, Pastor Dwayne Sheriff. He has written four books, and I have the first one called Identity Theft. Identity Theft, and he's written three since then. So Jerry likes to read books like that. So hopefully they'll be here before we leave. Ordered them from Amazon, so it's possible. And so I can have some books, and Jerry can read the books, and I can sew. And he can, you know, play with the RV and figure out all the things he wants to do with it while we're there. <laughs> but I am excited. I'm excited to go somewhere. <laughs> and so then our next trip after Oklahoma City is back to Nervous. National Indoor RV Center. We've got to go back down there because we already went there and we said, hey, there's a leak, something about air in the brakes, and there was a leak, and so we took it to them, and they said, well, yeah, it's leaking, but it's not leaking bad enough. Didn't I just tell you that yesterday? And so now it's leaking bad enough. 
So we have an appointment with the chassis department. The chassis department's been on vacation or something. So anyway, then we go there. I canceled going to the quilt show. Um, and I'm so glad I did because my favorite person, the only person I'd really want to see is Edita Sitar, and she isn't even there this year. So I'm glad we didn't do that. And of course, my husband didn't want to go. And what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Do you know how many fishing stores I have gone around with him for hours? looking at fishing poles and lures and how much time I have spent while he looked at boats and motors and but for some reason he just doesn't want to go with me to look at fabric and quilting stuff. I don't, I don't get it. I really don't. <laughs> he would. He would if I asked him to. He'd do anything for me. But I don't want him to be bored out of his mind and you know not have anybody to talk to and he doesn't walk like I do I I walk a million miles an hour he's always 20 feet behind me I'm always looking for him I lose every time we go to Walmart I lose him I'm like has anyone seen my little boy <laughs> he's tall and he's blonde <sighs> so it just would not be fun for him at all and the reason he walks so he's had knees his knees um, torn meniscuses in both knees and surgery in both knees and he's fine and he's not in pain or anything but he just can't walk like I walk so I'm glad we didn't go uh, because this way you know we can be together and we can do things together and he loves both my friends Margaret and Mary and he can be there when I'm with them or go with us be our chauffeur whatever so that's not a problem he loves my friends so other than that oh so it's Oklahoma City, then back to National Indoor RV Center, and I'm excited to go there. You know why? Because the Joann's closed. Remember last time I was there, they were supposedly having this sale, and it was a dumb sale, and um, nothing was really marked down very much, and nobody knew how much anything was, and no prices were marked. And they said, well, we're moving, and we're going to open a new store. And so their new store is supposed to be open the end of October. Well, we're going to be there November 14th, so... I'm real excited to go to the new Joanne. So, after that, that's November, and then there'll be Thanksgiving and Christmas, which is usually a pretty depressing time of the year for me and for Jerry. But we'll get through the holidays, and then January we'll do nothing, and February we'll do nothing, and March we'll do nothing, and then in April, we're going to a customer appreciation rally put on by National Indoor RV Center, and it's gonna be in Arkansas. And it just turns out that one of my very favorite nephews, he really was like my first grandchild, my, my little sister's son. His name is Ryan, and he's the cutest baby, the cutest, cutest baby. <laughs> if I can find a picture of him, I'll put it here. You, you just can't believe how cute this kid was. And he called me Aunt Play, because every time I would come to his house, he'd say, Aunt Play, Aunt Play, and he'd want me to come play with him. So I just adore the kid, and now, you know, he's six foot four and has a kid of his own, and I don't know, how old is he, 40 or something? <laughs> so anyway, he's only going to, his house in Arkansas is only 50 miles away from where our camp thing is going to be. So we're hoping to get to see him. So that's my entire plan from now until April. <laughs> it's six o'clock-ish, maybe later. And we're getting ready to go to town for a dinner and a margarita. But I wanted to show you all done. Not really. The, the uh, binding is ready to be put on the quilt. But it's not on there. I wanted to make sure I liked it. So I've got it just, you know, lightly pinned on. And it can't reach the top because it's puddled on the floor and I'm not changing it. <laughs> but I do like it. Because it's got to have some green in it somewhere, right? Oh, you know how, if you ever, if you watch me more than five minutes, you know that whenever I finish a quilt, I never like them. I always think they look terrible, and I don't like them anymore. I'm tired of them. I love this one. Uh, Jerry came up here, and you know husbands, they always say the goofiest things. Well, they don't know they're goofy, but he walked up here, and I said, well, what do you think of my new quilt? I said, I've got it all quilted and ready for the binding, and he said, well, what's that? <laughs> oh my we never quit training them do we <laughs> so
So, thank God my sister knows what it is. And in case you didn't hear me tell you what my sister told me, my sister told me that the leaves from our yard were too round. They were very round. I have them over there someplace. I kept them because I'm thinking of putting them on the back with the quilt label. But uh, she said you need a more pointy leaf, and I totally agreed with her. And so this is a maple leaf. I don't have a maple tree, so we just had to pretend like we had one. I love the variegated thread. This pattern took four or five hours to sew out because it sews double. It sews every line double. And so it's kind of strange with variegated thread because it'll start out yellow and then it'll go over it again, green and orange. But I like it because it makes the thread really show. So I think it's super cute. I asked my husband, how do you like the acorns? What acorns? I don't see any acorns. I said, this is an acorn. This is an acorn. Well, it doesn't look like an acorn. <laughs> Thank goodness I like it enough that it can't hurt my feelings today. I just think this is so cute. I mean, it's just a throw, you know, to put over your lap when you're cold in the uh, RV. So I'm going to, we're not leaving till Wednesday. We're going to vote, early vote, Wednesday morning. Then we're going to come back here. Then we're going to get in our RV. And then we're going to head to Oklahoma City. And I already have a date with my granddaughter, so I am on the moon excited. Over the moon. You can't be on the moon, you have to be over the moon, because the man's already in the moon. So, <laughs> I will sew this all on the front, and then press it to the back, and then all I'll have to do is hand stitch it. That's just an absolute perfect thing to do while you're riding in the passenger seat of the RV, or while you're sitting there at night watching YouTube or whatever. So I'm super excited. Gonna let you go. That's it for today. Jerry's waiting for me downstairs. We're gonna go eat at the Mexican restaurant in town and have a margarita. I'll be back soon.